What do you think of standing ovations? Do you envision when you're done telling your story that people will rise to their feet and give you thunderous applause? That's nice. I am not a fan of standing ovations. There's nothing wrong with them. It's, there are some speeches that actually deserve to have people jump to their feet and applaud wildly. But for the most part, I've noticed that, cli uh, that standing ovations have become cliche. They, they feel obligatory. You and I have both sat in meetings where somebody gave a speech and all of a sudden one or two people stood up and you felt like, why? It wasn't that impactful. But out of guilt or not wanting to look like an ass, you stood up and applauded with everyone else, right? I'm just being real here. My goal is never to get a standing ovation. When I speak, I hope that when I'm done, I hear absolute silence. I don't want to hear a pin drop. Because if that happens, that means that the last question I ask them, the last point that I made, the last story I told them had so much impact that they're sitting there thinking about its implications to their lives. Silence means you've hit the mark, you've made an impression, and you've had some type of influence, which is why so many of us say we speak in the first place. If that's really true, then let's stop shooting for standing O's and shooting instead for silence. In the next video, you'll get my perspective on motivational speaking.